Oh, to be a uh, life photographer, I think we were different in that uh, I believe we had a, a little greater perception we, because of the time that we could spend on it and the amount of preparation that we made before we went to cover something. We read, we studied, we knew exactly, we knew a lot about what we were going to photograph when we got there. And a newspaper photographer doesn't have that luxury. Uh, usually it's just, you know, go and shoot Joe Blow uh, who's doing something. You don't know what till you get there. But we had uh, time to think about it and, and study and we had the equipment, the versatile equipment in the early days. The small camera was very important and uh, we could be unobtrusive. We didn't use flash uh, except when it was absolutely necessary. So we tried to just meld into the woodwork, so to speak, and shoot so many pictures that people would finally forget you were there. Then you started to really get the pictures. Tell us about the early equipment that you used. The very earliest camera that I used was an 8x10 view camera. Uh, and that was on a newspaper <laughs> because that's the only, pay, only uh, camera they had. And uh, later on then I, I graduated to 4x5 speed graphic. And all the time that I was doing that, I was playing around with a, uh, a contacts camera, 35 millimeter. I belonged to a local club, and uh, we did uh, photographs of small format. And it never occurred to me to make a picture for the paper with that format. It, it just wasn't done, and everything you did was a four by five speed drive. You flash right in the face, and bang, and gone. But uh, I had a lot of fun. I learned a lot uh, about small format cameras early on. Ed, what do you think of young photographers today? You've been at it a long time. How about the new guys on the block? I think they're great. I'm envious. I think they are, they are uh, and, and so many of them now are like the early life photographers. Uh, they're thoughtful, they study. You know, the, the old uh, second generation news photographer, and that's, I guess, what I was, uh, most of them were pretty rough, tough guys. And uh, they were hired for their tough, uh, mannerism there, you know, they just go in there and bowl anybody over and do it. Now it's more subtle and these young fellows are very talented. During the 1950s there was a lot of racial tension that you covered. Right. Um, there had been a crusading weekly uh, editor of a small paper there who was outraged because all of the white children had uh, just been built, uh, had a, built a new school for them. They had more classrooms than they could use, gleaming water fountains. They had cook stoves for the cooking classes and wood woodworking shops. And the black children only had one room, first grade to eighth grade, and it was in a, in a church. There was no running water in, in the building. There was, no, there was outdoor toilets. And I made a picture uh, of that and the white school, and it ran in Life magazine and it caused that community to build a decent school for the black children. And it was one of the proudest times of my life. I went back to the dedication of it for life and photographed the dedication of that school. In your opinion, what makes a good picture? Well, I've often heard a lot of esoteric uh, explanations of what a good photograph is. I have a very simple one. My idea of a good picture is one that captures your attention for a second. We're assailed by sight, sound, and everything all, all day long. If somebody's in a gallery or looking through a magazine and they stop and look at the picture, that's a good picture in my opinion. Do you think any Ed Clark pictures have ever stopped anybody? I've seen them, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I, I used to take great pleasure and be, I'd be on an airplane going on an assignment someplace and somebody next to me would be reading a Life magazine and they'd flip through it and I'd watch them out of the corner of my eye and when they get to one of mine if they, if they just passed over I'd say oh <laughs> but if they stopped for a minute it was a good picture. <laughs>